Watching TVC News, President Bola Tinubu has announced the decision of the federal government to rename the National Theatre in Igomu Sulere as the Wale Shuinka Center for Culture and the Creative Arts. This is as Nigeria's literary colossus and global icon, Professor Olu Wale Shuinka, marks his 90th birthday. President Tinubu described Professor Shuinka as one of the finest minds of his generation, conforming to the high standards of human enlightenment, but unyielding to injustice oppression, and base impulses. He also saluted his courage and commended him for his valiant efforts in the trenches for the nation's future, both as a pro-democracy champion and as a trenchant voice against corruption and maladministration over several decades. Meanwhile, Governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biodun, has described Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoenka as a literary icon and a voice for social justice and human rights whose legacies straddle the entire world. Governor Biodu, in a statement by his Chief Press Secretary, Le Kwan De Nira, on the occasion of, of Olisho Inka's 90th birthday, described the first African Nobel laureate winner in literature as an icon, a literary giant, and a global ambassador of Nigeria. The governor noted that the professor has made immense contributions to the development of literature and culture and democracy in Nigeria and across the world through his gifted arts of writings and activism. Governor Biodun commended the le legendary playwright, poet and essayist for his unwavering commitment to the fight for social justice, human rights and good governance over the past six decades. Meanwhile, the power of arts, literature and the human spirit has embodied in the craft of Wale Shuinka, who is now 90 years old, is irreplaceable. These are some of the comments by scholars, colleagues, friends, and admirers at a symposium organized by the Nigerian Academy of Writers in honor of Wale Shuinka held at the University of Lagos. Senior reporter Ayamidia Jigbe has more. The symposium titled Enyo An Enduring Legacy speaks to the work, creativity, and expertise of the literary icon in a room filled with professors, scholars, students, political figures, and academia, which includes the former Vice President of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibajo, and Professor Niyo Shundari, who describes Wale Shoinka as a man who should be revered beyond his pen magic, but much more as a public conscience. The universe captured the alleged folly or futility of a public conscience in the proverb, Eniba Fori Epagma, meaning that the man whose head is used to crack the coconut will not be able to participate in the drinking of the coconut water, or the eating of the coconut. So Wale Shoenka has lived his 90 years on earth with a severe form of this affliction, which has often led to his breaking the coconut with his head, especially in the many cases where in apparent acceptance of the impotence of the pen or the theatrical stage, he abandoned them and headed for the barricades himself. It is an indisputable fact that what we have here is the voice that is averse to indifference and antithetical to silence. A voice with profound grip on our national discourse, product of an impulse almost incapable of the Sidon look escapism. Speakers at the symposium describe Shoinka as a man of many parts, whose intrusion and intervention into all part of humanity is difficult to ignore, stating that a strong sense of social justice cost him a lifetime of pressure and persecution. So many things Professor Wally Shoinka stands for not just his creativity, but the courage of his convictions. He has lived a great life. He's still living a great life. And he's still impacting not just his generation, but future generations. The symposium brings together activists, critics, colleagues, friends who identify with Wole Inka's works and are passionate about the values he adds to the society. His status as the first Nobel laureate, not just in this country, but the first black man to win the Nobel laureate for literature. And these are things that 
those that are in this generation may not even appreciate. For him, literature is not an egotistic affair. It is something that must be done in the service of the people. And every time his literary works have always worked on the side of the people. Wale Shoyinka, as a writer fighter, with his abundant air, lanky frame, and lavish beard, speaks truth to power. And his literary work is a testament of not just his beliefs, but in a fight for justice. Ayomidia Jake, TVC News, Lagos.